for some people who are refusing vaccines or delaying them or um, rejecting them altogether, um, I'm arguing that there is a, um, a lack of meaning to the term community. So if we rely on a conception of the public or the community that we're supposed to care about, and that's where the social norm of vaccinating for the well-being of, a, of the people around us, um, that that's something that's really started to break down with um, the advent of neoliberal ideology, with the cult of the individual, with the idea that um, if we make decisions about our lives that are about protecting and benefiting ourselves and protecting and benefiting our families, these are things that we are rewarded for. These are considered appropriate behaviours. Um, our whole society is kind of modelled on this idea that that is what individuals are and that is how we should behave. And from within this setting, it's very hard to make claims that, oh, but by the way, when it comes to vaccination, you should be looking after other people. It's like, oh, really? Well, that doesn't seem to be sort of relevant anywhere else. So I'm really interested in exploring this idea of what do we do with that community deficit, if you like. Um, is it something that we can change? And do we need to change the actual ways that we live? Or can we also change the way we think about how we live? So this is one half of the question. The other half is that for some parents who refuse vaccines, um, they would not even see that they are somehow free riding on immunity that's generated by other people who do vaccinate because they don't see that vaccination works. So they don't see that what other people are doing is having any impact at all on their own families or lives or well-being. So consequently, um, these people we could regard to have the to be sort of providing the immunity deficit. Um, they, um, they often live in vibrant communities and they do awesome things together and they have lovely, rich, meaningful lives and belong to the kinds of communities that perhaps could make claims on us to do things for other people. But if they don't believe that vaccination does anything to our, our own immune systems or our children's immune systems, then we can't persuade them to act for other people because they don't see the action as having any merit.